everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing a collaboration between Who Farted and Jackie O's. This is Cough Fury. This is their Imperial Stout using coffee, and this is one that I am super, super excited to finally try. This one has been in the works for a really long time now. So, Brad from Jackie O's and Trevor and the guys over at Hoof actually collaborated on the base Imperial Stout recipe for this one. And then, Brad from Jackie O's actually drove up to Hoof he brewed it on their system, which is awesome. And then Trevor and the guys at Hoof actually handpicked what kind of coffee they wanted to use for this, and they actually roasted it on site, and then they put it into the beer. Awesome stuff. Both Jackie O's and Hoof know a lot about brewing Imperial Stouts, and Hoof really, really knows their coffee, so I am really, again, just super excited to be drinking this one with you guys. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, wow, yeah, that coffee note is big, and it is up front right away. Yeah, it's like a combination of espresso, and then you also have, like, a cold brew coffee kind of smell to it. Yeah, just lots and lots and lots of coffee. I mean, it's like a coffee punch to the freaking face. Yeah, it smells like coffee beans, just really fresh roasted coffee. I am getting a little bit of like some roasted malts. I'm getting a touch of chocolate in there, but by and large, this is all about the coffee. It is really, really strong in this one. Yeah, it actually smells more like straight up coffee than it does beer. I'm a big coffee lover. I'm a big beer lover. So when coffee beers really smell and taste like coffee, that's okay. And yeah, just tons and tons of coffee, maybe a little bit of like some caramel sweetness, hints of it, bit of roasted malt, but again, just mostly about the coffee. Smells freaking fantastic. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Yeah, just like in the aroma, tons and tons of just layers of coffee. Again, it's like freshly roasted coffee. It's like coffee beans. It's like espresso. Oh my god. Wow, yeah. Just tons and tons of coffee in this one. Second sip, I'm picking up on a little bit of that malty sweetness. I'm getting a little bit of caramel, maybe hints of toffee in there as well. But yeah, just big, big coffee, and actually a decent bit of like this almost like really nice roasted, slightly kind of burnt kind of tasting malt in there as well. Like it's got a really, really nice roasted malt taste for sure. Yeah, wow. Yeah, again, it's just coffee front to back, just really, really, it's just like this big, fresh coffee bomb, but then you get like hints of the maltiness, you know, you definitely get like the caramel toffee kind of sweetness, which is nice because by and large, this definitely has more of like those kind of roasty bitter notes in this one, and I really like the fact that it has a little bit of sweetness to kind of play off those notes as well, making it more balanced, and then you're definitely getting like some chocolate, it's bittersweet chocolate, it really isn't Milk chocolate, it's definitely that dark chocolate for sure. It's like that 70 or 80% like dark chocolate, like really kind of nice and bitter. But yeah, wow. Just again, it's like tons and tons of coffee to this one. It's it's so much coffee that it kind of overwhelms, I think, just the base stout. But it is a damn good beer and crazy, crazy easy to drink. Yeah, it's got this really nice creamy, rich mouthfeel, just super, super silky and coating. High use the alcohol like crazy. For this being almost 10%, scary, scary drinkable. I would guess six. If I had this in blind tasting, I'd say maybe six and a half max, but nowhere near 10%. Again, Jackie O's and Hoof are both just masters at hiding alcohol typically, and this one shows it just really, really well done. It's definitely medium bodied, so it's a little bit of a lighter take on an Imperial Stout. I've seen some people, and I've even heard some people that say this was thin. I don't think it's thin. I just think it's a little bit lighter than people typically think of for like a big, you know, kind of roasty, coffee-forward Imperial Stout. But it's definitely not thin. It's not watery, nothing like that. It's just a little bit lighter for the style. And you know what? It being summer here in Ohio, I'm okay with that, and it's just drinking really, really nice. So yeah, awesome to see these two 
finally come together. They are absolutely just both making killer beers here in Ohio. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.2 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. I love it. If you're a coffee lover and if you like coffee beers, I think you're going to really, really love this one. It's going to be kind of hard to get. This was one that really just... It, it was one of the fastest releases they've done in a long time. People were really anticipating this one, and I think it's great. I can't go too much higher, though, because, again, it's such a coffee bomb that it kind of masks too much complexity. You do get some roasted malts. You definitely do get some, like, toffee, caramel sweetness. You get, you know, a little bit of, like, bittersweet dark chocolate. But by and large, again, it's just, like, so big on the coffee front that it kind of overwhelms some of the other things. But, again, if you like coffee and you like Imperial Stouts, this is a fantastic beer, definitely worth checking out. If you've had this one, let me know what you think in the comments below. Alrighty guys, that does this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.